it's a fun uh, piece of software and you know it's it's so much better to use a real piece of software than to use the garbage that comes with the diode lasers right you know which, which is almost impossible to use you know you import a picture and you can resize it and that's about all you can do so you have to have another program to work with you yep. know and and most everybody else is using you know illustrator or you know some other program and uh the thing i like about lightburn is that it has all the features um sort of all the features of any other software program for images What's up, everybody, and welcome to the Laser Source Podcast, the number one podcast. If you're looking to grow or scale your laser business, we've got a ton of great interviews coming up, and we're starting this awesome string of interviews with the Louisiana hobby guy, uh, Rich. What's going on, man? How are you today? I'm doing great. Finally got a little cool weather here in Louisiana, and I'm loving it. Ooh, cool <laughs> weather in Louisiana. I didn't even know that was a thing. Oh, first time this year. <laughs> That's awesome. That's really cool. And uh, also joining us today is uh, Lithgow. What's up, Lithgow? Hey, guys. Uh, yeah, starting to warm up actually down here uh, in Australia. So uh, <laughs> the opposite. it's good to see some sun. Totally. And uh, Patrick, of course, is hanging out with us today. What's up, Patrick? Good morning, guys. It's always a uh, beautiful fall weather in West Virginia. So nice day out today. <laughs> that sounds awesome. Uh, so, Rich, um, your main thing, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, that YouTube channel looks like it's bumping. You're just pumping out content. Well, it's uh, something that just happened not by choice. Um, I used to spend a lot of time on Facebook groups and forums and discussion boards, and it seemed like so many people were just giving out such really, really bad advice hmm. that, you know, I would jump in and help people with the software. I'm a software engineer. I've spent 30 years in IT. Yeah. And uh, once I learned Lightburn software, it seemed like everyone was giving out bad advice. So I just spent way too much time in the forums and on Facebook um, answering people's questions. And I, decided to start making some videos and I did, I hadn't discovered YouTube at the time. So I was using, you know, uh, my Gmail account and uploading videos to my Google drive and things like that. And trying to teach people what to do, right. save them some time. And, uh, three months ago I discovered YouTube. So, yep. uh, I decided that, you know what, I'm just going to start, I'm going to look at the most frequently asked questions and, you know, start a channel and then just point bit people to the videos. So it was and like, it was like very means to an end. Like you had a problem you were trying to solve for many people. So this was like, just exactly. I can upload it one time and then answer that same question for everybody who asks it from now on. Exactly. Like, yeah. Yeah. yeah totally, and, and, totally. and even, even with the video uploaded, you know, I'm still getting a ton of questions in the comments. I'm still getting a ton of emails and, so I decided to start a forum and then, you know, mm -hmm. uh, a graphic store and all this in the last 30 days. Let's say it's been exactly 33 days <laughs> since I started. You're a busy wow. guy. Hey, man, I feel it. I mean, how long ago did we start Laser Everything, guys? It's been three months now. That'd be about all. We're about 90 days in. Yeah. So it's, uh, you know, I, there's yeah. clearly a need for this kind of content, you know, like there, it, there's a need for it. Um, Absolutely. What? And since so, since the COVID lockdown, you know, people are looking for hobbies and mm. looking for extra income. And, you know, I got to tell you that working with a laser, you can really lay down a lot of few extra bucks on the weekend. Yeah. You know, uh, I put up Facebook yeah. ads on Saturday and I got to take them down within a couple of hours because I don't have the capacity to, uh, you know, take that many orders. Right. So I I only work locally, so I don't do any shipping. I don't do any Etsy stuff or anything like that. But, you know, there's enough people that uh, order it that I got to take the ad down and spend all day Sunday making, you know, and then I deliver locally. So I'll do that on a Monday, Tuesday or Wednesday. Um, 
so yeah i mean that you know cnc and 3d printing and laser engraving uh, I, I wish i was back in my shop because uh, you know i'd be able to do all three of those like i used to do right. and i used to just work locally but um hopefully in the next couple of weeks the shop will be finished um i had i was working out of a i put up a metal building uh, 18 by 28 mm -hmm. and everything was just a mess so now with the whole youtube thing i'm having a special office built and you know some custom tables and things like that so that i can be a little more productive <laughs> that sounds like an awesome plan i mean you've got your ducks in a row it seems like you have a vision moving forward I, the youtube content that's already up seems amazing you seem to really understand light burn software so if people yeah. if people want to like master light burn like you're the guy to see right yeah it's just uh something about the software you know it's so common with other software programs uh, most of the commands and most of the the uh, processes in the software that uh, there was no learning curve for me. You know, like mm -hmm. I said, I've, I've been in software for uh, 28 to 30 years. So um, I, I, I picked it up on day one and I just saw so many people giving such bad advice out there on how to use it, uh, you know, taking 14 steps to achieve a goal that you can mm -hmm. accomplish in two. Right. You know, so so maybe 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 we could get a little a little preview taste of your channel for some of our viewers. So like, what are some what are some like common traps that people fall into with light burn that you see over and over again, where people just are not doing it the right way, or they're wasting a ton of their own time, or they're they're actively messing up a project because they're not paying attention. What what would be like some of those things? I, I think the probably the number one thing is that people want to join uh shapes in light burn and they come up with a you know 15 step procedure for one boolean action you know if you know what i'm saying like so to let's combine say, yeah yeah if you have yeah. like a graphic and you want to put a person's name across it you know uh, th th they come up with all these different steps to do it when you know yeah you, ha you have now with the new version uh 1.0 and above they have mm. the boolean assistant so you can actually bring that down, you know, uh, and preview what it's going to look like using the different Boolean functions. So uh, I think that's probably the number one problem that people have. Um, the number two problem is just connection issues, which I haven't really addressed. I usually refer them to the Lightburn video on how to connect uh, to their laser and how to set up their laser. Yeah. Because uh, that's not you know, that's not really something that I want to teach. I want to teach people how to make it, uh, how to make money with it, you know, and, and do simple things like this morning I'm working on this. Well, actually I'm working on a custom clock for someone this morning, but last night I did these, this seven layer butterfly oh, wow. out of two millimeter wood and, um, you know, seven, seven different layers with really fine cuts. I don't know if you can see it on the, on the I, video i can definitely see it yeah. enough to appreciate it yeah. yeah yeah and and the ant you can see the antennas the antennas are about all oh, right i don't even think we covered this but what laser are you using with Lightburn? um i am using a cheap chinese or tour laser but i did modify uh the laser head i picked up a 4640 from nay which uh, they say they claim that it's four. They actually claim that it's 80 watts, which we know is not true. But it has a uh, dual laser, 7.2 watts each, mm -hmm. run through FAC, uh, combined through a mirror, and a really fine uh, 0 0.02 millimeter point. So, so, it's, a, uh, but, so it's, a di it's a diode laser. It's a diode laser, yeah. yeah. But, this, okay. but this was done uh, on my uh, 20 watt Otura, which is actually. It's a 5.5 watt optical output. Wow. So, yep. I mean, yep. any laser can do this if you have it focused properly. And that's Incredible. probably going to be one of my next, uh, well, that's high up on my list is learning how to focus. And most people don't understand how to focus a laser. So they wind up with really crappy projects, you know? <laughs> right, right, right. Because you're drawing with a Sharpie instead of a fine point pen. Exactly. That's exactly yep. right. Yeah, yep, and yep. and they don't understand both sides of the focus either. So I mean, you can you can focus down 
to a point where you've passed the optimal focus point and keep going. And it still looks better than focusing up. So mm -hmm. they, they don't understand, you know, burning a line test and, you know, things like yeah. this. So yep. uh, that's that's pretty high on my list. But um, I try and stick stick with the maker videos. Um, but I'm I'm probably going to have to add a uh, another section of videos talking about how to use the laser as well. Yeah, sure. That's kind of like the inter intermediary step there, right? You yeah, gotta, you gotta <laughs> learn how to use it if you want to make stuff. Yeah, uh, but they're not the they're not the most fun videos to make, but they're they're definitely the ones that I think reach the most people off the bat and and help the most people. You know, it's just because yeah. they're you know for. For guys that come into this with a background in technology or computers, uh -huh. it's pretty easy to just slide into it and, right. and start working. But there's this this hobby and this industry, I think, has expanded so far past those kind of people at this right. point. And those people just don't they just don't know how to do a lot of this stuff. You know, I, yeah. there's a lot of people that, that we help on the channel that just are struggling to install drivers. You know, and then there's to, a lot of people that drivers don't. Installed. Yeah, I, I had one the other night. Um, I'm not going to say his name, but uh, an elderly gen gentleman. I think he's 87 from uh, Arizona. Wow. And he just had so much trouble. He's been in the business 15 years. Yeah. Uh, he, he has a $15,000 laser that stopped working. Mm -hmm. He needs to keep working until he gets it fixed. So he bought, you know, a cheap diode laser to do the engravings that he needs to do and mm -hmm. couldn't get it hooked up. You know, so little things like that. So I remoted, I did a remote session into his machine and set it up in a couple minutes. And, uh, you know, I enjoy doing stuff like that. Today, I'm working on, let me see if I can change my screen here. Let's see. Edit name. How do you change the... The, uh, uh, the monitor that you're using? Yeah. You would go to... Um, I think there's down there's just a little square. Are you trying to like share your screen? Yeah, I wanted to but, share my uh, light burn screen, show you what I'm working yeah, so on Yeah, so you can click just the share button there and then click share screen. Uh, it's right down in that bottom bar. Hmm, share. Okay, there we go. Share yep. screen. And then I'll be able to add it to the stream once it pops up. And let's see, I got to do this one. There we go. Perfect. Very cool. So this is a uh, like a custom order for someone, yep. and this is a let me see what's uh, I think it's ten inch, yeah, eleven inch clock, and um, this is just going to be a cutout. It's going to be three layers. I'm going to cut this outside circle out uh, three times, so it'll be six millimeters thick. And uh, this is the kind of custom orders that I do on the weekend. Right. And uh, this one came in at seventy nine dollars. So, um, you know, it's a, it's a nice, easy job. It took me about 14 minutes to do this. I have a lot of, a lot of art libraries, as you can see over here. Yep. And, um, yep. I just went in and picked out a tree of life and, you know, did a clock on it. And, uh, you know, this is the kind of stuff, you know, I want to help people do because there's just, there's a lot of money to be made in this. And right now with people working, uh, part-time hours at their job or working from home, you know, they're having a hard time doing this stuff. Right. So when I do this kind of stuff, I just document it step, step by step. And uh, I'm just so happy that people can replicate it. Yeah, that looks beautiful. Uh, did you, so did you literally go in and manually like add the numbers for the clock and like add in, you know, like the shapes for like the outer circles and things like that to like uh, yeah, build the, this out? Yeah, the, the numbers are just a function of light burn, mm -hmm. uh, you know, where you create an array down here. Yep, yep, yep. So, I mean, uh, everything here, you know, the, this is a Boolean function, you know, welding the uh, the shapes together. Yep. And uh, you just have to make sure you have the right amount of circles so it doesn't fill in the hole. Uh, it sounds like I need to spend some time watching LA Hobby Guy mm. on YouTube. <laughs> there's a there's a lot I don't there's a lot I don't understand about Lightburn. I'm an easy CAD guy at heart. You know, I I that's that's what I learned laser on at first was easy CAD and like fiber lasers and Galvo style lasers. I know very little about Lightburn. Uh right. and I I feel like there's it's got a lot of the same 
features that easy cat has and probably executes yes. on them better because it's yes, an american it company i mean everybody asks you know when is lightburn coming to fiber lasers <laughs> that's like one of the big <laughs> some of the big oh, questions yeah. you know uh so yeah. it's it'd be one hell of a time to learn now because if they do ever release any kind of support for that then you know i'm gonna need to know how to use it anyway and it sounds like you're the place to go if you want that kind of knowledge so uh, yeah we'll, well it's just a uh, it's a fun it's a fun uh, piece of software and, you know, it's, it's so much better to use a real piece of software than to use the garbage that comes with the diode lasers, right. you know, which, which is almost impossible to use. You know, you import a picture and you can resize it and that's about all you can do. So you have to have another program to work with, you yep. know, and, and most everybody else is using, you know, Illustrator or, you know, some other program. And uh, the thing I like about Lightburn is that it has all the features, um, sort of all the features of any other software program for images. And mm -hmm. there, there are just so many things that can be done with it that people don't understand. And uh, even uh, if you go over to Lightburn's website, uh, you see they even endorse my videos over there. And I've gotten to know the owner and, uh, you know, they're, They've sort of slowed down on their videos, I think, since I started doing mine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're uh, we're chatting about think, actually ha having them on pretty soon here, right? Yeah, I haven't I talked first to learned him about that Rich. Yet. Anyway, I first found the LA Hobby Guy channel um, with your art library video at first, yes. and uh -huh. then then I found that he started his forum and if you join the forum at no cost, he's got his several of his art libraries there available. So you can download those, plug them into your light burn, which his video explains how to do. And you're off and running with all kinds of graphics, just one click away from you. Yeah, I've so got, I've got about 14 libraries amazing. up so far. Um, but I've got, uh, I've been, working with the laser and you know light burn for a couple of years now since the beginning really of diode laser hobby uh i got the very first one that was made by Otour three years ago and i guess i have probably i think the last count was 144 libraries wow. uh, but wow. i've got i've got 14 of them uh up you know for free download so far and i'm yeah. probably going to add like one new one uh every week and, you know, I think these things should be, uh, you know, some laser companies, they give you some really crappy art libraries mm -hmm. when you buy their $10,000 laser, right. uh, you know, some clip art that you can pick off the Internet. But, um, you know, I've been in IT for a long time. I've been designing websites and graphics for more than 20 years. And uh, I just had the, I have this huge two terabyte library of graphics that I've designed for other people and for websites and for all sorts of things. And right. I've brought all of those into my uh, art libraries. Right. So uh, I think the last count was 144 art libraries that I've got that, uh, you know, I think we should all share our art libraries. Yep. You know, and working in Lightburn, you, you know, you to be really uh, proficient at it, you need to have uh, art libraries, you need to have cut libraries. So you need to know what material you're working with, how it cuts. I really don't like going in and tweaking my my cut and my engrave settings. So mm -hmm. you know, I've I've created the uh, cut libraries as well for different materials, and I like just you know going in and say, oh, is three millimeter ply? I want to engrave. You know, apply the layer. I'm done. Yeah. I'm, I don't have to fool with the with the settings at all. Yeah, absolutely. And so I mean, you. So it sounds like most of what you've done is with the diode. Have you messed with CO2 at all? Have you gotten into CO2? Well, I have probably the worst CO2 laser on the market, <laughs> <laughs> which is the uh, infamous K40. Oh, and, my gosh. Uh, <laughs> they <may have> done that. <laughs> but I'm about to uh, tear it apart and do a whole bunch of modifications to it and make it is into it, a non-K40. Is it stock? Is it it's, stock it's right stock. now? It's stock. Oh, oh man, yeah. So we got to get you like a cohesion 3D board or something, so you yeah. can get Lightburn running because you you can't even use Lightburn with that right now. No, you can't use Lightburn. Oh, Actually, a... 
I have a friend that has a, a, a broken CO2 that I'm trying to buy from him for cheap. And mm. it's got a nice uh, Ruida controller on it. So, yep. um, you know, I, I, I want to use some of the parts from that one and, uh, you know, make some type of Frankenstein CO2. Mm. But, I, yeah, I would love to see that, especially I want to see a Ruida controller in your hands because with somebody who's so proficient with light burn, the Ruida controllers are very powerful. They're, they're yes, very they powerful are. little controllers. Uh, if the person who has it knows what they're doing. And again, I'm I'm not I'm certainly not the level of expert you are with like light burn and, and the Ruida controllers and stuff, but I can see the potential, you know, like yeah. I know what it can do. I'm I just haven't mastered all those things yet. I want to see it in your hands. I want to see you with that, you know what yeah. I mean? Like that install kind of set up and going on because the the non um the DSP version of Lightburn opens up a ton of new stuff for you to yes. play with. Um, yeah, and a, a lot of it, I frankly, I don't know how to use. You know, I, I just kind of kind of use mine like as if my CO2 was CO2 was more or less a diode right now. You know, well, I think the I think the greatest thing about the the DSP version and, and using a CO2 laser mm -hmm. is that you can get um, you know CNC effects out of your projects. So um, a buddy of mine. Uh, somebody that I taught, actually, I used to teach a class in a um, local college here, adult ed for lasers. Yeah. And I actually taught this guy and he's become, you know, worlds above me <laughs> as far as, uh, you know, production. Uh, he's got a, a nice business going and yeah. he does these 3D maps uh, with his CO2 laser that are almost, I'd say, three quarters to an inch high out of wow. the wood where it actually uh, does a 3D version in the wood of a map of a state, or it might be a state or a national park, you know, wh whatever it might be. And, and he sells them online and uh, they, they come out really interesting. It's something that you can't do with the, with the diode laser because you don't have the uh, Z axis, right. the Z axis. So I am working on my own diode laser now. In fact, I just got the parts in, last week uh to put a z on mine so mm -hmm. a motorized z right. um but that's you know completely it's totally different than uh you know having a certain couple different layers you know you have to get into the actual programming of the software to have it maneuver to the 3d mm -hmm. effect Right. And uh, I, that was one of the things I was going to ask you with the Z on the diode. I, I've seen a couple things revolving around rotary with your diode laser on your channel. Yeah. What's your experience been with that? How do you do you like it? Oh, I love the rotary. It works now, well for you. It works. It works super well. Um, the, the problem that I found and probably the first video that you saw was setting up an Ortur rotary, which mm -hmm. was a nightmare. Mm -hmm. And uh, Ortur has... Uh, three different control boards, and there's, I think there's, as far as I know, seven different control boards for Chinese diode lasers that I've run across so far. There might be dozens of them, I don't know, but there are seven that I've run across, and they all handle the communication uh, to the uh, Y differently. Mm. So when you plug in that uh, rotary attachment that comes from or to or any of the other manufacturers uh it's not a simple setup where you just go enable rotary you measure the size of the roller it, it's just it's not that easy right. so i wound up having to make a whole video on that that sort of covers all of the different rollers and as well as a printable uh step-by-step -step instruction so that yeah. you can print it out and then it at on the very last page, it tells you if this doesn't work, turn this off, you know. Um, so there are all types of workarounds that you have to do. Unlike the CO2 laser where you plug it in and you use it, yep. you know, uh, you take one measurement and you use it. With the diode lasers, there's just something about the different control boards where it doesn't communicate properly. So you have to create a workaround and every right. different one. Right, right, right. Fun. That sounds great. I'm looking forward to doing that when my diode laser shows up. <laughs> the only thing I, the only thing I did, uh, I do like about this new Neji, Neji is the extra power that it gives with the dual lasers. Sure. So sure. Like I'm doing these little keychains, mm -hmm. and it's two pieces of three millimeter wood, 
and I I can cut out the slot for this leather right here yep. to put in here. So, so and so you would like say, luggage tags. You would say that that's not simply a marketing gimmick. You're you're seeing an increase in power with oh, these analyses. There's no question, no yeah. question about it. Okay, you know got what, it. especially like on acrylic. Um, mm -hmm. used to take me with the 5.5 watt or tour on a piece of, let's say black acrylic, it would take me 16 to 20 passes at 90% power. Right. You know, with, right. with this laser, it takes one pass at 90% power if right. you want to use it at 90. So right. I, I try and stick to 80. So I do two passes, cool. but yeah, huge improvement with the, with the Nage laser. And I think a lot of laser companies are moving to that uh, fact fiber. Mm -hmm. um, and I've seen a few other dual lasers, you know, merging on the mirror. And it, it it's really going to become probably the standard in the next year or two um, because people are a little frustrated with the slow speed. They don't want to take, you know, six hours to do yeah. the clock that I just showed you. Yeah, so, which, which is I, I the case, 10, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's so hard. I We were just messing around yesterday. One of the things that you probably would have been very interested to see was uh, on our live stream yesterday. We had these blank wood rounds uh -huh. and um, we were filling them with like a little line art scene. Yeah. And we got the time on it down to a minute 55. <laughs> yeah. Which is just like, yeah, like brain oozing mind numbingly fast right you know and exactly. i've never seen anything like that before even on the gantry even on the gantry co2 that would have been a 10 minute job on yeah. the diode it would have been an hour long job you know a minute right. 55 is just like what <laughs> you know <laughs> you know so yeah i get that i get that people are frustrated because sometimes I, I think especially if you have a diode laser i don't have one yet i have one on the way because everybody asks about it and i figured i should just have one in the shop the show is called laser everything i'm not going to use it all that often obviously but um another you, thing that people it, don't you, don't um uh, uh don't they don't experiment with light burn so yeah a lot of people do round stuff like coasters yep. and uh, sometimes they'll do an inverted coaster where they'll, they'll burn out the background. Well, and, and in using a fill, if you did like an offset fill, that would cut your time by 70%. Mm -hmm. You know, instead of using a fill, using an offset fill, because right. it'll go around in a circle. It's constantly moving. Oh, yep. yep. You know, and it's, it's, it's never over scanning. It's never turning around. It's, you know, going back the other way. It's never ramping up. It's never ramping down. It's just a constant circle. And, you know, it'll, it'll do, it'll cut your time by anywhere from 50 to 70%. And especially if you're doing like big circles, uh, a lot of people like to do these monogram circles. So, you know, it's a, it's a big 10, 12 inch circle and you have an outside band on it and you have the person's name going, uh, their first initial, their last name and, the last name going through the middle, real, real nice monogram things. Mm -hmm. Well, doing that outside, that outside circle, say you have it an inch wide and you're engraving it to burn it. Well, if you're, if you're going horizontally and you yeah. know, burn here, yeah. burn there, burn here, burn there. Well, it's going to take you 10 times as long to do something that size. Yeah. And, uh, you know, those are the little things. Most people get started with light burn. They learn a little bit. And, you know, they make a coaster and they say, oh, wow, this is great. You know, I'm going to do this for a living. And then they find out it takes them three hours to make 10 coasters. And it's like, well, maybe I better learn a little bit more about the software. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, that's a, This is exactly why I need to watch your channel, because I did not know that that was even a thing. And I've yeah. been over scanning <laughs> my circles for eight years. <laughs> Right, you know? exactly. Like, like that sucks. I I didn't even know it was a thing. So now I have something to go research after the show because um, <laughs> those are the kind of like little tips and stuff that that I think that people are really gonna get out of your channel, you know, and, and absorb. Like, just something that small is gonna add so many hours to your life. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you know, exactly. you just explained it in like ten seconds. Yeah. I, so I want to make sure that that people know where to go to to find the, the stuff that you have to offer them? Because clearly it's a lot. So can you give us just kind of like a breakdown on what 
what's out there what's available i know there's like the youtube channel there's a forum uh, what what is all encompassed in that yeah um i have so i have the youtube channel which mm-hmm. is all and i do only step-by-step videos uh, and, and i think that's a a key thing that's missing off on youtube is that very few people do step-by-step videos and include every step you know even if i make a mistake every right. step is included in the video right. so uh when you miss one step you you lose the whole purpose of the video it's not going to work for you so i have the youtube channel with the step-by-step uh, walkthroughs um i have the forums at lahobbyguy.com uh that's that's my blog and then on there there's a link to the forums and i have uh, i'm i've been starting to put up liper and files and graphics mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. even some fonts that i've created at yeah. engravencutfiles.com, which Engrave is my uh, website where I make a couple dollars. Yeah, that pays and, uh, <laughs> What? So is the the blog is that active? What kind of stuff do you post on the blog? I only uh, some a lot of people are subscribed to the blog, so I only put up links to the videos on YouTube, mm-hmm. where they're mm-hmm. they're not real YouTube people, right? But, but they get access to it there. Exactly. So that's basically what the blog is. And um, I probably should write some articles and put up there, but most people aren't reading them. I found right. that out in the beginning. And sure. uh, so I'm just using the the blog as it's just my main website for the LA hobby guy. And we're in the, uh, we're in the video age. Yeah, <laughs> you know? exactly. especially, especially in this industry, it's so much easier to show you how to do yep. something in light yeah. than it is to tell you how to do something in light burn. Yeah. Absolutely. And I can tell you, you know, I wasn't a YouTube person. So, right. um, I, I, I didn't even discover YouTube until three months ago, like I said. Right. And so, I love for you that it's like, I love, it's not like this vanity project. It's like you, it's a, it's a means for you to deliver information. You know? Yeah. Nobody even I, knows I appreciate what I look like. That. I, I, have a, I, I have a, I have a big appreciation for that, man. I, I really yeah. do. Uh, that's, I think that's really, really awesome. I love the channel. I love the content. I love your approach. We try to hear to do the step-by-step and even if i make i make a lot of mistakes on this channel and everybody sees all of them all the time because if you don't if you just skip over that if you cut that out like you're Uh gonna lose everyone while you're working through that tutorial because they're not gonna they don't understand like you have to show that and then there's there's other channels where it's just like here's eight hours of time lapses and like the projects look great but right, they're just like right. they're time lapses, right. and it's like that looks awesome, but I have no idea what you're do- you're doing. You know, no details. Yeah. Well, what yeah. I loved yesterday was um, I learned something new from you yesterday with hmm. my uh, tumblers, and I ran and got one real quick. The uh, one of the ones that I do for uh, Homeland Security, and yeah. I tried it. You know, and I'm like, oh my gosh, look at that. You know the melamine and and uh, oh yeah oh man that tip alcohol huh? ooh uh, oh, so the, you know I've been doing them in sort of like a dull finish for a while. Mm-hmm. I have a contract with uh, Homeland Security and a local branch here and one branch in Florida yeah. uh, doing their tumblers yep. and um, they they always came they weren't shiny yeah you know, I mean right. it came out okay it looked they sure. look good and that's sure. what I thought they were supposed to look like until yesterday when i saw oh. your video <laughs> your live <laughs> stream the yesterday. yeah the the magic erasers with the alcohol is just uh yeah well, i that's, i never do that and i ran right you get to the a little kitchen. zip too you gotta make sure you don't forget your bottle of, your bottle is that for that last layer of polish too on there that's uh that's good no stuff, and that's but... funny because i use zip for lots of stuff especially yep, like for zip. cleaning my motor so, home <laughs> so after you do the alcohol like you can get kind of like a residue that's left over from the powder coat or whatever the zip just picks it right up and leaves it like i mean like automobile shiny shiny so wow um, that's, yeah the zip's the last little bit there but all right good uh, tip. Well, I, wanna... I appreciate that tip I, yeah, no problem, man. I appreciate everything that I've already learned from you and that I'm going to learn from you. Like I said, I, I really need to start focusing and mastering on, on Lightburn because, you know, they're, they're, I have a feeling we're going to talk to them, I think, in two to three weeks. They're going to they're, they're be on the podcast. So we're actually going to be talking to them directly. I'm going to get some answers about what the state of the industry is mm. as far as getting our fiber and Galvo style lasers. Ah, yeah. Like Lightburn supported. And if that if they if they give me some kind of positive confirmation, that's when I'm really gonna have to go hard into like your channel 
uh, and learning what you have to offer because uh, nobody's going to want to use EasyCAD after Lightburn adopts those technologies. So um, well, I can tell you that they're they're very proactive when 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 they get a request, they they fill it. You know, I mean, it's only yeah. three guys, but um, they, they they work very hard at the software. And, yeah. uh, you know, I, I I see it because I'm part of the beta program, uh, yeah. you know, and they're constantly and if you see all the updates, I mean, we're up to what is it, 1.0 two or something four. Or, yeah four you know, now oh, four. Yeah. yeah that's four right now. oh yep. four yep. yeah yep. and we're yep. we were at uh point nine four just three months ago they're you know, definitely so. the the good guys of the industry they're like the absolutely the, the, uh, um lawful good would yeah. be flight burn right and i'd <laughs> love to see that to too because my next step after after binging on your channel is uh you know a fiber laser and i do get a yeah. lot of requests for you know fiber stuff yep. but that i just can't do with the with the diode or the co2 right 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 yeah well uh dig in man because there's a lot of it's a whole nother it's a whole nother thing and it is not it is not the the beautiful waltz that is uh light burn it's yeah. like the nightmarish <laughs> hell. I mean, whatever the polar opposite thing that you could imagine uh, from Lightburn, like whatever the the absolute like diametrically opposed thing to Lightburn would be, that's Easy CAD and the yep. hell that comes along yeah. with that. So uh, I welcome you if you decide to make the the trip. Welcome to hell. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, man. So all right. So so let's let's go ahead and, and we'll get this wrapped up i i know you've got places to be we got to get you working on that shop i want to see the channel with like the big you're gonna have all the stuff that's gonna be super cool so it's uh, uh remind me urls one more time so it's uh on the youtube channel just search for the louisiana hobby guy got it for the forums is lahobbyguy.com yep got and it. for uh light burn files and graphics is engrave and cut files dot engrave a n d cut files dot com perfect guys go right now go to those places absorb <laughs> everything you can from this man he's a genius he really knows what he's doing i can't think you're still learning alex I, we're, we're all, we're all still learning, learning together dude. but you're learning <laughs> you're you learned more in the you you're ahead you know I, so somebody told me once you you don't have to be a, a master at something to teach you just have to be a couple steps ahead of the guy behind you yes and that's right that's and we teach and we teach what we most need to learn so and right. that's me really <laughs> right yeah that's me too man you know i i feel like i'm not i'm not like a, a brilliant genius i'm just like i have like two steps ahead of the guy behind me and if i right. can just get him those two steps ahead then i can take two more steps and that's exactly. kind of how it's kind of how that works uh so yeah. you know go go follow rich everywhere you can check out his libraries online they're massive massive libraries and there's just so many goodies in there for you um i, I do want to give just i i've talked a lot and i never give lithgo or, or patrick any time to <laughs> kind of butt in do you guys have any questions for rich before we close out the show today uh, I would just say uh, he does have a Facebook group for people that like Facebook. Uh, mm, I don't know yep. how many of you out there that do, but he does uh, it's Light Burn Software, Louisiana Hobby Guy is the name yeah. of the group, I believe. Yeah, the group, the group name is Light Burn Software. Yeah, and I, I talked to the owner of Light Burn about it, and he tried to discover, discourage me from it. Um, he said they used to have a group, and they shut it down because they had so many problems, but I'm not having any problems with it at all. So, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, I, I think as long as everybody's friendly, you know, and we're getting a, a whole bunch of new people joining in. I have a couple of group experts in there already that um, and, and one guy, Keith, he knows everything, you know, everything about Lightburn. Uh, I've got another guy that does the most amazing um, uh, burns on things like uh, tiles and, uh, you know, it's just incredible the artwork that he does yeah. so yeah the the facebook group is another one i've got a facebook page louisiana hobby guy it's hard yeah. to keep up with everything I, there's a lot of places right totally yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah we feel that way on the discord too or it's just like yeah. it's always it's just it, there's always stuff to catch up on anything from you let's go before we go I no no um i'd just like to thank rich uh for what you're doing uh for both yeah. the hobby and uh for everyone Thank you. Um, I've been following you for a little while. It was mentioned on Discord, and I went, 
who is this guy? Uh, Went and had a look at a few of your videos and was just blown away with um, just little tips that, you know, you sort of throw out there. Uh, Alex does the same thing at times. He'll just mention this little tiny thing in a, in a video and you go, I didn't know that. Hang on. Um, yeah. So thank you. And that's that's what I look for. You know, I, I, I know I make the most boring videos on all of YouTube. <laughs> There's no question about that. But, you know, the people aren't coming to my channel for entertainment. They're, yeah. they're coming to learn something. But I try and throw something in there. So, yeah, I'm going to make a clock, you know. But but in there, I'll, I'll show you one or two little tips. If you pick mm -hmm. up one or two little tips, then, you know, I achieve my goal with make. I'm going to make that clock anyway. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. let me share that with you. And if you can pick up a tip or two and that makes your day, you know, makes your hobby easier, your business easier. Well, great. You know, that's the whole purpose of the channel. And you never know what offhand comment is going to save you a hundred hours of your life, like the offset fill just saved <laughs> exactly hundred hundred hours off of my time that I'm going to have to do things. That's just exactly. uh, really really. And then talking stuff. about comments, Alex, that's yeah. another thing too. Is uh, you know the comments that I get on the channel and the comments I get in the forums, you know they 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 stir new ideas. Yeah. Absolutely. So it's it's helping me to learn too. Because somebody will ask me a question that I don't know the answer to, and I've got to go click on Lightburn real quick and say, well, what's the answer to this question? Figure it out, you know, and then I can answer that question. Well, not only did they learn something, but I learned something. So, yeah. you know, half the things that I'm learning are coming from other people's questions. Yeah, yep, yep. That's the that's the discord for us is just the fire pit. <laughs> And then we we draw from that and we try to create episodes based on that. And just like like you said, like projects in the shop, you know, like I'm going to do it anyway. Right? right. So might as well as like walk somebody else through it while I'm doing it. But right. Uh, Rich, I've got your email now. And that means that I'm going to be harassing you pretty regularly about working together some more <laughs> as we move forward into the future. So I, I hope we get to work together again because I, I really enjoy talking to you, man. And I, I want to like explore other things that we might be able to do together. I think that would be fun. Yeah, and, yeah, uh, yeah, absolutely. I just, I'm just, I'm incredibly grateful. I got, I've, I've, don't forget, Alex, I've got your email too. And I'm, yeah, I'm that's, fine. That's, that's good. <laughs> you, you hit me up, dude. I'm here to, I'm here to help you out. And, uh, and I just, one last time, I sincerest of thank yous for taking some time out of your busy schedule to spend some time with us this morning. I, I really do appreciate it. Oh, it's um, my, my pleasure. I've got three live always, streams today. <laughs> I always appreciate, oh my gosh. I always appreciate my, uh, my co-hosts here. We got Lithgow and we got Patrick. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. I appreciate Thanks, having you here. Thank you. And uh, I think that's it, guys. If you enjoyed this episode of the podcast, uh, you can go sign up for the Laser Master Academy to help support the channel. It supports the community. Uh, it supports the podcast. Uh, so go check that out. It's masters.lasereverything.net. And uh, you'll get bonus episodes of the podcast as well as a ton of other things, like hundreds of hours of bonus live streams at this point. Uh, settings libraries and I, just all kinds of stuff. I can't even keep track of all the stuff that we I don't know how you do so many. Away. I don't either. I feel like I'm going to die. I think I might actually die. And I, my daughter's coming soon. I'm having a daughter in like days and I'm just like, I, I feel like that'll be just when my body kind of crumbles away. Um, so uh, I, also don't forget to check out Rick's, uh, Rich's stuff. There is links to everything that he has talked about today. We're going to include links to all of that down in the description of the video if you're watching on YouTube or in the show notes if you're listening. Uh, so make sure that you follow up on that because this is information you do not want to miss out on. That's all I've got for today, guys. Thanks for joining me, everybody, and we will see you in the next one.